value in life that are the things that you can't buy man all the good things in life you can't buy money can't buy and that's being successful to me being successful is having family is you know uh, do the things you love to do with honesty helping people and having to donate yourself into making other people happy you know and that's what being successful for me so like my success depends on all the good things they try to do around me. Everything in life, you know, when you plant good seeds, you can only collect good seeds. The whole nine to five type thing is just a, it's just a manufactured hour figure, you know, that we're supposed to follow. It's not really what we're meant to do as humans as mammals, as whatever you think, you know? I mean, we're not meant to do that. To work a job I hate, to buy things that I don't need, you know? You just become accustomed to wealth. You can also, unfortunately, become accustomed to misery. That's my big thing about enjoying life, you know? If you don't like what you're doing, don't do it. Jiu-Jitsu really like help people, you know. People who has no confidence, they start to get confident. Old man, like uh, 50 years old, was really sad, like doing nothing, like got a divorce, and then he start training Jiu-Jitsu, and and then he start to like have like a, a emotion again. You know what I mean? So Jiu-Jitsu is is amazing. I believe like Jiu-Jitsu is is good for any age, anybody. Know, doing jiu-jitsu for kids having something that's difficult to do is very important they need to be pushed you could develop so much more of who you are if you've already pushed your boundaries at a certain point in time as a human being you become responsible for your own biology you know and that's what we don't teach people what we need to teach kids in school there needs to be you know you have math and you have English and these are all very important subjects but what we also need is how to manage your mind how to think how to think correctly, how to, when something comes up in your life, how to deal with it and turn it into something to your advantage, how not to go into a negative spiral and have your whole fucking life fall apart because of one thing. And that, that's, these are, it's very important that people learn how to think, how to control your mind, you know, how to think positively, how to affect the people around you as positively as you can, how to move your life into the way, you know, move your life into a healthy place. It's just like life, man. It's, it's the journey. The journey never ends. You will never get to a point where you say, cool, my jiu-jitsu is complete. You know, I, I have mastered jiu-jitsu. There's nothing more I can learn. I think there's not a single jiu-jitsu black belt who hasn't learned that that's not the case. Spiritually, you know, that's something I think it's, um, it's a big reason a martial artist should, should strive to become better. There's just certain things inside you that you need to improve, and it's not, always, it's not always fun. It's not always easy. But at the end, you should enjoy it, and you should appreciate what you've done. has nothing to do with money bro like truly I'm a guy that I don't really mind about money you know I think having money is just uh, being successful is being happy and honest and and being able to put your put your head on on the pillow and close your eyes and know that you truth with people and you have real friends around you and you're good with your family and
everything had to be have on balance, you know. Everybody in the same boat, everybody wants to be good, and everybody wants to be friendly, you know, everybody wants to find some guys, good friend, good person. Many people come here, sometimes don't train, but sit and they talk to me, have fun, have a good time, you know. They need that, they need some guy for talk, some good friends to speak, you know, to, to talk some about some problems, some things happen in this life, you know. For me that's the more important, you know, about life, about friends, relationship, you know. I'm never going to stop uh, working or training or teaching, never. I'll never stop. I just think you become an old man and die. That's kind of what happens. So I'm going to just uh, keep doing this the rest of my life until I die. You know, as far as even just training, when I stop fighting, I'll never stop training. Once you start jiu-jitsu, you, you really shouldn't stop it. It's just going to go until, until um, your last breath. Martial arts can really bring everyone together, especially Jiu-Jitsu, you know, you see it in academies all across the world. So many times I'm on my mat and I look back and, and uh, I'm sitting against the wall and I just look on the mat and I look around and, and I see all these people together sharing their, their techniques and sharing their energies and having fun with each other and then you realize like, look, this is a high school kid, this is a businessman, this is a family man. People that are just all across the spectrum, people that would never cross paths with each other any other way. Uh, it's really amazing. I think you see that so much more with Jiu Jitsu than, than other martial arts because of the, the connection that you make with people. It's not martial art. As soon as you get here, this is the craziest day of your life because you're gonna get hooked to it and it's gonna be your life from now on. This is gonna be your lifestyle and it really becomes, right? Everybody's addicted.